Okay, welcome to this video. Even when I will never recommend you to use Windows for our C++ course, I managed to find out a way to make it work with all the tools we actually use. So I created uh, this wiki. On, so if you go to the tutorials wiki on the IgG GitLab server, you will see um, the instructions. If you go to IgG GitLab, You can see all the instructions here on how to set up Windows machines in order to work with C++ and OpenCV4. So basically the main idea is to kind of cheat because we will not be installing the native libraries like Clang Tools, GCC, OpenCV and all these libraries. Even when you can do it, it's usually painful and it's very likely that you do some mistake. So for me, the best idea is to try to still use Linux inside Windows. So Microsoft al already realized that they need to do this. So they're providing this thing called uh, Windows su subsystem for Linux. So here I, I put you the link so you can go ahead and install the, the this uh, Linux thing in Windows that is sort of like a virtual machine, but it's not really. So this integrates into your system, so you need to launch any specific thing so if you go now to the must have tools wiki you will see this link and here you will find instructions on how to install all these steps after you go through all these steps and then you know that more or less is working then you need to go back to the original link and then follow all the steps for linux so the really good thing about this is that once you complete these steps you will be able to install whatever you want in windows but using Linux behind the scenes. So I will not go through all these steps because it will take a lot of time, but I just want to make sure that I already tried those steps. I am using it on this Windows installation. And then uh, I already tried that the graphical GUI server is, is working, so everything is, is fine. So first you will go ahead and install the Windows subsystem for Linux. Then you will install VS Code for Sorry, you install VS Code for Windows and then you will need the remote uh, WSL uh, extension. If you see on the bottom left corner here, you see this green button saying that I'm running on Ubuntu. So actually this file is on my Linux installation inside Windows. So inside this Windows subsystem system for Linux. So you will need to install this installation in order to edit source code from a Visual Studio Code installation that is running. So this is running on Windows. Uh, so it's native, it's a native package uh, for Windows in order to edit source code. Then you will need to install like a fake uh, X server. This is in order to run uh, GUI applications. Here I, I give you a tutorial on how to do it. So everything in here is like meant to, to run on the Linux sub subsystem. So just make sure you go through all the steps. And then after all, you will need to execute this command on the Linux installation inside your Windows. And then that's it, guys. With this, you can do whatever you want. So now you can go through any tutorial that you can find online on how to do blah, 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 or how to install this library on Linux. And you can do it from Windows and it will work. So how do you access this Linux machine? You just do Ubuntu, just type here on the starter menu. I have no idea. And then if you hit click, then you will have this terminal that is basically a Linux installation. So this is one way of doing it. So it's, this is the kernel version I am using. And this is basically a Linux subsystem running on Windows. Even when this app is the default that comes with this subsystem, I would recommend you to, to install but this is completely optional, another terminal. That is, I use Hyper Terminal in Windows because the one that comes with Windows is really, really ugly. So this is basically my terminal. And let me close this and then I will show you one example on how this works. So let me minimize all this stuff. And then, so. So for example, this is inside my Linux installation. 
this is the path directory and then i will open visual studio code inside this folder this is just optional and this is just to show you how this stuff is working so right now i'm editing source code that is actually located on the linux installation here you see all the files on the top left uh, corner you will see the green button saying that we're running actually ubuntu and all the tools are working you can build this project and you can actually so there is an example of course if you see right now this is taking for me it's way too long it's much more slower than if you are running everything natively in linux but it is something if you don't want to go for linux you can try this so don't worry if you don't understand this command it's just to show you that opencv4 is running on linux inside windows so there is this display image uh, okay so this is you need to export this play in order to make this work no i am missing one step sorry so if you go back and then let's open I'm missing one important step uh, so if you go to the wiki you need to install this windows server and then you need to launch the server so first install windows system for linux then vs code then the, the extension to access code for the linux machine and then you install the x server that is this tutorial i'll show you but then you need to run this server and it's super easy you just go to the icon it's providing installation you just double click and if you see right now here on the right button corner so the x ming server is running how to check that this is actually running just open any terminal and then you can hit x eyes and then you will see this gui application so now we go back to our opencv example and then let's try to run the application to make sure that we can see images and everything so of course you need to install manually opencv at this point you shouldn't care about this uh, but you need to make sure that in the future you will be able to install it so i did this for you in advance so to make sure that everything is working and now if we try to run the application now it's working so that's basically it so make sure you go through the through, to, through the wiki you first run these four or five uh, steps they will take some time uh, then don't worry about opencv right now but i'm just trying to show you that you can use opencv for in windows but for linux basically and the, the only thing you need to keep in mind is that all this setup you're running a Linux inside Windows and you're like always accessing this back and forth. So this of course will take some time. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video.